Celestia approve? Where on earth? Uh, 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 Celestia is speechless, really. And I just want my schmoopy doo back. All right, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I not hear anything. We have an amazing, obviously an amazing panel of voice actors for you to talk to today. We have to take pictures. Sorry, this is good. All right. Thanks, M.A. Larson. Um, hi, my name is John Delancey, and I play Discord. I wish, I wish, with all my heart, to fly with dragons in a land apart. You've come That's such fine. a long, long way. My name is Pinkie Pie, and I am here to say... Something, something else, and I will brighten up your day. My name is Big Mac in town. <laughs> There's something else to say. How you doing? How you doing? Howdy. Gonna make me smile. And I will brighten up your day. Oh yeah, Fluttershy? Well, nobody can yell louder than me, and nobody can talk faster than me, and nobody can yell louder than me. Um, yeah, you're probably right, Pinkie Pie. Yeah, of course I'm right. I'm the fastest and I'm the loudest. Yeah, um, I agree with you. Um, 100 percent. Yeah, because yeah, I'm in a fight with you. Yeah, and I. Yep, you're right. What are your thoughts on the current political climate of Tanzania? <laughs> Aren't you sick of that question? I know, we get asked that so often. I'm no stranger to jealousy, so my question for you all is, what's it like working under the shadow of Peter New? <laughs> That's a serious shadow. Best con ever. <laughs> Who do you think would win in a race? Rainbow Dash or Sonic the Hedgehog? I think we all know the answer to that question. <laughs> Rainbow Dash. Pinkie Pie. Pinky would use her pinky Because I would just be at the finish line. No one would know how I got there, but I'd be there. Boingy, boingy, boingy. <laughs> My name is Josh Haber. I was just wondering. <laughs> Hi, Josh. Hi, Josh who, Haber. Who how is old your are you, favorite? Josh? How what? old are you? Uh, I'm not at liberty to say. Okay. I'm just wondering who is your favorite writer and why? That, that's for the whole panel. M mine is Samuel Beckett. <laughs> because he's not uh, you. <laughs> that's exactly my reason. <laughs> I love this guy named Josh Haber because he's really handsome and so smart. And he just writes the best lines for my character, Princess Celestia or Cheerilee. <laughs> Do you need a pen? No, no, no. Hi, um, my name is Amy Keating Rogers. Oh my god! Hi, Amy. Hi, Amy. I like your hair. And, hi. 
Um, and this question's for uh, Mr. Actor Peter New. <laughs> yes. Hi. Hi. I was just wondering, um, who wrote your favorite lines? <laughs> and, uh, what? And, uh, I'm really fond of season, my lines. Shh. Hmm? <laughs> it's season four. It's okay. So just, just calm yourself down and is, just speak a little question, more clearly. Go. Is the question is, who wrote my favorite lines in season four? Yeah. In season four? Yeah. It was, it was Amy Keating Rogers. Oh my gosh. Hi guys, um, my name is Jimmy. Uh, no. Sorry, can you speak up? This guy cannot ask the question. Um, I just wanted to thank you for all, <laughs> I'm just really nervous, uh, all the work you do, and I just have one quick question. Um, you know what? You're just so cute. Do you want to come and sit up on stage no, with us? No, no, just so come, so on up. come on up here. Come on, come on, come on, come on have you up here with us? On. Come on, little one. Oh, yeah, okay, come on. It's okay. It's okay, come on. Okay, come on. Don't, um, don't touch him, though. It's bad. Wow. What is your name? My name's, my name's Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. Uh, how, old, how old are you, Jimmy? I'm 17. 617? Six, six, <laughs> yes. 617. 617. Six, What's your favorite color, Jimmy? <sighs> that one's tough. There's so many to <laughs> choose from. Um, Who's your favorite pony, Jimmy? Oh, uh, Apple juice. Yeah, answer it carefully, Jimmy. I, uh, this is such an amazing opportunity. I just had a, a quick question. Um, which of the two directors do you think is more handsome? <laughs> um, uh, are they both here? Oh, no. <laughs> well, we... Oh, huh. It's okay, don't be shy. Oh, do you, do you know, boy? Don't, don't be, be shy. shy. What's your name? What's your name? Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Is that Jason oh. Teeson? We'll need another oh my God. chair. Oh. We're going to have to have don't a walk. Don't be shy. It's okay. Hello. Oh. Oh, come on. I'm really nervous right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Come, I have to say, you know, it can be really distracting because both of the directors are so handsome. Sometimes I mean, it's just so hard handsome. to even get your lines out. Uh, I went in and uh, my agent didn't tell them that I wasn't a kid, but I was reading for a kid role because that's what I do. That's what I sound like. And I got in there like, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? Good. So how was school today? What? happening it was so confusing and then I got in there and they go okay now say your age and then your slate and it was so bizarre and then when I said my age they were just like oh <laughs> I remember doing an exercise in an acting class which was like okay you guys are all clocks <laughs> really <laughs> we're gonna act like clocks so everybody was like ticking and talking and whatever, and I chosen to be a grandfather clock, so I started bonging as loudly as I could. <laughs> People started looking at me like I was an idiot, and I sort of looked over at the teacher and went, I'm a clock, you know? <laughs> uh, I, have, I have some advice too, which may seem really counterintuitive, but I think is some of the best advice I ever got. Uh, and it's advice that comes in a single word, and it's quit. <laughs> All right, another question. Let me, I want to explain that before okay. I come <laughs> Because if any of you are out there and you're hearing me tell you, do you want to be a voice actor, you want to be an artist, quit. Some of you are going, oh yeah, okay, well maybe I guess I could get that degree in engineering and move on to that. Yeah. The rest of you are going, hell with you. <laughs> Forget that. Those of you saying, yeah, gee, maybe I should go get my degree, and I'm gonna go get your degree because you won't make it. Sorry. Those of you that are going, what the hell with that advice? Okay, you're on the right track. Nah, it's not. 
Nah, it's not. Nah. Ozzy's real easy. Listen, here's what you do. Well, can you do a cockney? Badly. Badly? All right. Badly's good. Can you do a cockney? Anyone? All right, all right. Imagine yourself now. Imagine yourself. You're impoverished, right? South side of London. Noise. 1870-something or what have you. Um, hungry, steal a loaf of bread, they catch you, put you on a boat, <laughs> six months at sea, right? Six months in the dark, in the hole, can't see a thing, rocky rocky back and forth, sick making, right? Finally they let you out, it's blazing hot. <laughs> Crying it's hot. <laughs> And you just sort of slide into it, don't you? Oh, there you go, right. What, mate? And that's it. And that's, I mean, that's how that accent happens. Are you ready? Yeah. Go. Yup. It's a real one. That's a regular one. 1.7 1. 1. seconds. 1. 1.7 seconds, all right? Now we're going long. Yeah. Ready? Take a breath. Go. <laughs> I forgot to start the stopwatch. It didn't. Mitch, as the writer, how many 22 E's is that? 22 seconds. How many E's is that? Do you mind if I take Mitch's spot while he's gone? <laughs> sure. Sure, come on up. Yeah. Better hurry. Hurry up. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, there you go. Do, do, do you have, do you have, a do, you, do you have a question for Mitch Larson? I thought this was the Andrew Limit panel. I have many questions. Yeah. All right. Since you took Big Mac's title, can we hear your best turkey call? Oh, oh yeah. I remember we actually did these, um, and then they weren't used, so I can't remember. I think it's just. Do any of you know the Flourish Giant Big Mac shipping? I've, I've heard that they uh, have a great cargo route. Um, I know that they... Um, I, I'm really impressed with their modern boats that have very strong hulls that, uh, that don't break, and I, and I admire them for not shipping uh, hazardous materials uh, through uh, environmental waters. You, yourself? Agreed. Yeah, I think they're a very well-managed company, and uh, I think their stock is just going to go up. <laughs>